was gonna be too loud or shoot, we'll see. But today, y'all, we finna do a Q and A, real deal, uh, a raw Q and A. I put a couple of questions on my Instagram story for y'all to do it, and it was kind of with the quickness. So, um, I haven't even looked at the questions. I ain't looked at Nathaniel. So, um, this is like just straight into it for real, for real. And I apologize if everybody was not able to you know get a question in again it was last minute but um yeah if y'all want me to do another one i definitely can but we're going straight into it what i'm gonna do is just you know what i mean just go all the way down and we got a quite a few so i'm just gonna pick random ones so the first question is kind of easy for real do you eat meat at all nah i don't eat meat i don't remember the last time i ate last time i ate meat it's been, I don't even know, I haven't even honestly been counting or, or or like counting days or anything like that. So, um, yeah. How did you start eating clean, trying to get better? For me personally, and I told y'all this before, but for the people that don't really know, I kind of went cold with turkey because I had uh, stuff going on like that I had going on for for especially with like high blood pressure and stuff. and. It really just put me in that mode where I was like, okay, I ain't even finna play around. So I really went cold turkey, honestly, but um, you don't really gotta do that. I would, honestly, for the people that's, cause everybody is different for real. So I would just try transitioning, but you don't wanna get stuck in a transitioning phase. So um, you're real deal trying to, you feel me? Like it's like a growing thing. You don't wanna just stay, okay, I'm eating this right now and then you just stay for there forever and then you don't ever eat no raw fruits, raw vegetables. Like the main thing is to do majority of your lifestyle fruit. You know what I'm saying? Raw fruit, raw vegetables. Majority of it is not supposed to be, you know, cooked food, but um, yeah. How did you change your mindset? Honestly, it was like, cause I was a hard headed dude. I'm not gonna lie. Like I had to, just from so much I've been through, so um, I was kind of like in my own ways. I really, like, I would listen to, you feel me? I would listen to people, but it was just so much uh, um, me, 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 you feel me? Like, like I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do that. And I wasn't, I couldn't, you feel me? Like get out my own personal head or, you know, things like that. So like how I changed my mindset was honestly, bro, it was the fasting really changed my life, like fasting um because a lot of people don't go into detail how they change their mindset they just be like man god changed it which he did but it's like process that you got to go through in order to get to that you feel me because like if i'm just i'm doing nothing i say god changed it you know what i'm saying or i'm doing nothing and god just you know what i mean i just say god changed my mindset like nah i'm gonna tell y'all like the real deal god changed my my lifestyle my mindset overall but it's things that really like triggered me into doing it and the first thing was i had stuff going on like um you know food wise so i was like on some like kind of fearful a little bit like yo this is what happened to my parents i'm not trying to go down the same route so i just started doing my research and everything but it's funny how god work he can use certain situations to throw you forward into a whole different like i call this a whole different universe or mind because like now i'm thinking that i never would have thought like you feel me so um, I would say fasting definitely changed your mindset, but it's fasting and um, getting back to the God ordained foods. Like I'll be talking to y'all about that because that's honestly really what sprung forward. Everything is me getting out the matrix, however you want to call it. Like once you realize this mug is a video game and you once you go on a fasting is when you really step back and then while you're on a fasting is when you you know spend time with god more and then he will even show you things you feel me but it's what you do after the fasting also a lot of people just do the quick little fasting and then they just go right back to eating the foods that even worsens your mindset but i was eating living foods and the foods is will also you know what i'm saying trigger the you know the right mindset and things like that so i will honestly fasting for sure how do you get cussing out of your life? Um, honestly, it took, I wanna say it took me a little minute for real, for real. You feel me? And, uh, shout out to D-Book, you know what I'm saying? I had a dude in college when I was at Florida State. Cause I, I really, I only, I feel like I only cuss because you, I feel like people only cuss cause you pick it up from, you know what I mean? Like this day and age, like, you feel me? Like I don't even be looking bad at people that's cussing. I'm not saying that is right. I ain't saying that is wrong, you feel me? 
Um, but I will say like, for me personally, how I stopped is like, again, one of my teammates, he never cussed in college. And I was just like, bro, how you do it? Like, how you, how you stop cussing? And we were just kind of playing the game. So he would say, he would be like substituting words for it. So that's where I got it from, you feel me? Like I'll even say like, you know how people be saying type, you feel me? I'll just be like type-ish. Like, but I got that from my partner, like shout out to him. But um, it was like a, a growing thing where I just stopped completely and um, yeah. Me personally, like, I just feel like I don't need it. You feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's just, that just what it is. I don't know exact verse or anything they say about cussing, but um, just plain and simple, I just feel like you really don't need it and you don't got to. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, what age do you want children? I don't really got an exact age, but I'll probably say I'll be ready when, you know what I mean, everything's said and done for real. For, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm in I'm in. A, I'm on a destiny mission right now, and where God got me at, I'm in a lock, like a locked in situation. So my mind ain't really. You feel me? <clears throat> Would you consider dating someone older? Um, probably like around my age. Like if she like one. You know what I'm saying? Not like older, older than me. Just probably around my age, honestly. Um, dang, y'all got a lot of questions. How to stop holding yourself back. How to stop holding yourself back. I'll probably say the main thing, bro, is that you got to, like, just to put it in simple form, you have to die to yourself. Like, you got to stop being so, and take this with a grain of salt, with salt, but stop trying to be so kind to yourself. Like, you're going to have to, like, kill your flesh. So you at that point, you're not being kind to yourself. Like, you might not want to wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. You might not want to work out early in the morning. You might not be wanting to eat fruit. You might want to eat Chick-fil-A. Like, it's so much stuff, you feel me, like, that, um, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the key, I feel like. That's what, like, on my journey, that's one of the things, like, I learned, um, like, even how to get out your head. It's like a, like a ongoing process. Like, the more you kill your flesh is the more you be like, it puts you in a mindset of like, yo, I've really did been holding myself back because I'm trying to satisfy what I, like my needs, my this, you feel me? And once you like, I promise you, like once you get out that mindset, it's like you start doing the things that you really actually don't want to do and start acting upon the things. Like just take small stuff, bro. Like literally small stuff. I'm telling you, like just let's say you, you feel me? Like before bed, take a shower, like, um, before bed you read and like doing do doing certain things that you really don't want to do you might want to go pick up your phone but doing like little things and you stick to that little thing goes into you know what i'm saying other stuff and then you're gonna realize like that you were just holding yourself back that's when you're gonna really realize and take a step back like yo i've been just out here trying to just you feel me like let's say i'm hungry right now oh i, I have to eat like no you do not have to eat right now like well that's what i'm trying to say like dying to your flesh like that is how you get out that I'm saying a little rut, but you gotta start acting like, you gotta start acting like, no matter what the situation is, like yesterday I had a task, thing, a task like, where I'm like, dang, I didn't even get it done. And it was just something simple as like, yo, the shoe boxes, yeah, it was the shoe boxes. So I'm, I kept saying I was gonna do the shoe boxes, but every day it came to the end of the day and I, I still wanna get it done until one day, bro, I literally like, I was going to the movie theater, bro, no cap. I was going to the movie theater. I literally canceled my ticket. Like, I canceled my, refunded my ticket, and I drove home, and I acted on it. Like, nah, I'm getting this done today. You feel me? But that's the type of mindset. It might seem to the extreme, you feel me, to everybody else, but you do that in a constant, you feel me, like a battle each and every day, bro, I promise you, you're going to thank yourself, and you're going to see that you done sprung forward farther than what you ever would have thought. Other than YouTube, what other streams do you, what other streams of income do you have? Right now, honestly, I just been having YouTube for YouTube. Then I have my U, my uh, ebook. Then I have my Patreon too, but I stopped the Patreon. Um, I, I got off really the Patreon and I said it to my Patreon people already, but um, I'm trying to bring a different type of platform. I just don't, I don't honestly rock with Patreon. I don't like the, the feeling of like, me having a patreon if that even makes sense like it just screams like give me your money like <laughs> you feel me if i'm if i you know what i'm saying i'm just keeping it being i just don't like it you feel me so um i'm i'm doing another community where 
yeah, that's just coming along the lines. But as of right now, YouTube is really my main source of income. And also, back then I was playing basketball too, so I had, you know what I'm saying, money and stuff from basketball also. But as of right now, how I'm paying bills and things like that because I, I spent a lot way back, you feel me? Like, I spent a lot way back, but that was just stuff I was going through, you feel me? But, like, yeah, YouTube is my only income right now. And that's why I be telling y'all, like, get on YouTube. Stop trying to be, stop trying to be somebody else or this and that. Like, man, be who you is, stand on who you is, and start the YouTube if that's really your passion. Like, if you just want to do it off of strictly, like, okay, I just want money on, like, you can do it, but it only will last so long. And sometimes it seeps into your YouTube because the quality and stuff sometimes don't be there. But if you got a real deal passion to, you know what I'm saying, be on camera and things like that, man, go with it. Because it's been nothing but good, you know what I'm saying, good things that's been going on in my life ever since I started this YouTube, bro. Like, even speaking to y'all and, you know, getting out of my comfort zone and um, by the grace of God, it's been paying bills and, you know, things like that. So it's crazy to say that right now for for. Have you filtered out the secular music out of your playlist, bro? Uh, yeah, honestly, right now, bro, I've been listening to jazz. Um, jazz. I've been listening to Christian, like, rap music. And, like, some random, like, random. I don't know their names and stuff, so that's why I say random. But, like, country music, like, just some random vibes, for for honestly. But, um, I was, like, I, I think it was, like, two days ago or it was two days ago. No, it was a few, it was a few, I want to say, I don't know how long, it probably was a few days ago, for real, for real. And I started back listening to, like, secular music, but it wasn't, like, on nothing, like, crazy, crazy. Like, it was just a song that I had peeped. It was a dude in the NBA, his brother, he was rapping out, listening to the music. And, you know what I'm saying, like, it really, it really sprung me forward into something else, you feel me? So you just got to be cautious, because I was listening to his music, and I'm like, okay, bro, really sound like Lucci. And Lucci was my favorite rapper, so I'm listening to Lucci. Then I went to Hancho, like, it's like, a, you feel me? Like, you see how one little seed can spring you into a whole different, you know what I'm saying? And some people might say, bro, tripping or woo-woo and that, but, bro, music is a real deal thing that can seep into, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on. So you real deal got to, like, filter a lot of stuff. Like, I said that on my, one of my threads, like, in this world, you got to filter a lot of stuff, bro, like, it's just too much craziness going on and you got to protect your, you know what I'm saying, protect your peace or whatever you want to call it, protect your energy, protect what God got going for you. So, and the secular music, I don't care what nobody say. People might say, oh, bro, it depends what you take in. Like, oh, nah, the secular music is crazy now. Plain and simple. I don't care what nobody else say. Plain and simple. <laughs> like, you listen to the words, it's crazy. Plain and simple, bro. And to keep listening to that each and every day, you can't tell me that's something that's going to get you out of the de depression. It's going to get you out of the anxiety. It's not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to start filtering the stuff you listen to and filter the stuff you take in food-wise. But um, that, oh, another question. I said, my weakness is worldly music. Any advice or songs you recommend? Um, it depends what you like for real. Like, like it's still, it's, bro, it's music out there that can still be uplifting that might not even have the word God in it. You feel me? It just depends, like, what you are actually listening to, like, the words. You feel me what I'm saying? I know a lot of people might be on, like, I'm not listening to this. If they don't even say nothing about Christ or anything about God, but that's okay. That's fine. But at the same time, like, it's still some uplifting music out there. So you just kind of got to pick, you know what I'm saying, pick and choose. I got to make a playlist. I know everybody would like that asking me, but, um, yeah. If you didn't live in the U.S., where would you like to live? Shoot, probably somewhere overseas, like overseas on some islands type vibes. Um, Dominican Republic, so far. I've been seeing it's really cause shout out to shout out to him too. His name is like Wellness Wellness something, but um, he live over in Dominican Republic and it look it look beautiful for sure. Jamaica probably. Um, I want to live in Thailand probably about a month or so or something like that, but. Um, Something out of the U.S. No cap, cause they 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 on some craziness over here, bro. They don't they don't they ain't treating us like some real. You feel me? Yeah. <clears throat> what would you do to get over an addiction like drinking, porn, or smoking? Um, bro. I would say for addiction, bro. 
I know people would say like, I would say for addiction, first let's, let's get on the porn thing. Cause I used to be addicted to porn at a young age, like in middle school, you feel me? And it went all the way into like college and stuff. And now like, um, yeah, like even after college, you feel me? So lust was like a big thing that I, I wasn't a really a drinker. I ain't really smoke like that. I smoked, but it wasn't on. Only way like my smoking got crazy is when my like my parents passed and stuff. Then I was like, oh damn, like I was trying to do it like almost every single night. But it was more so just to sleep. But um, like just overall, first of all, I want to say porn is a thing that um. You gotta gotta fast with honestly. You gotta gotta you have to fast with, and people might say, "Oh, the fasting makes you, it makes you want it even more." Yeah, it does. But you gotta still get over that hump. You know what I'm saying that's what I can say. What the pornography is, what is what um, helped me is the. I'm outside just talking like this. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> but what helped me is that, uh, like that fasting for real fasting, and um. Yeah, like you gotta, I ain't gonna cap. You can't look at what everybody else doing. Like you might have to separate yourself from a lot of stuff. Like even with the drinking. See, with the drinking, I ain't never been a drinker, so I can't really say how to stop that because I be hearing people like be actually addicted and they, you know what I'm saying, be shivering and stuff like that. But if you're not, you know what I'm saying, I don't think you're on that or anything like that. But I would say fasting and you kind of like how i was saying before you got to filter stuff like you might have to even with pornography you might have to get off not even might you don't have to get off instagram you're gonna have to get off twitter delete the twitter <laughs> that's the number one thing delete the twitter i don't even use twitter because i know it ain't you feel me like it's just that you got to keep it real with yourself too you know what i'm saying so delete the twitter you're gonna have to get off tiktok you're gonna have to stop scrolling you feel me so that's the number one thing and you might do that and then people be like man you going too hard or you might have partners that's on instagram now you can't look at them you gotta look at yourself and be real with yourself and say okay i got an addiction for real like once you realize that and you start taking action with it that's when you can start breaking the chains and you going the chains and you're going to start having to substitute that with uh, of course the word of god because the word of god is the one that does the change you know i'm saying it and that's that fear of god that come in that it don't you know what i'm saying it won't bring you backwards you feel me to back to what you you know what i'm saying but i feel like fasting definitely is something that helped that's one thing i want to get even deeper on because i know if i get on that subject it's gonna go i'm saying deep deep too but you you feel me you want the other one it's a lot of folks that deal with pornography lust masturbation sex all that you know what i'm saying and i was i dealt with it too you feel me so um i definitely want to make a video on that because i know it'll be long if we talk about it but i was definitely say fasting bro and you're gonna have to I'm saying kind of go on some monk mode, like, like get away from a lot of stuff for real, for real. I'm saying so. What's your biggest fear? Um, I think my main, main fear is like not being who, like the person that I was meant to like become. Like that's one of my fears. And I don't just say that as a motivational quote or nothing like that. Like that's honestly one of my fears. Like, even when if I mess up or mistake, like, that's the thing I be thinking about because I want to do right so much. And, like, that's one of my fears. If not, you know what I'm saying? Like, on some God stopped using me and he uses somebody else to do my task. Like, that's one of my fears. And it just irks me even talking about it. You feel me? So, um, like, I still mess up. I still, you feel me? But that always, like, puts me back in the right mindset, bro, because I, like, I got to realize that. And you got to realize, like, your destiny is so much bigger than what you, you feel me, like, what you think it is, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll probably say that, and I don't really like hikes like that either, but sometimes it just depends how I'm feeling, like, I'll, I'll tighten up and go do something, because I've been on a zip line, that mug was higher than a mug in Puerto Rico, and um, I've done some crazy roller coasters over here. Now, I did, like, I think it's Dr. Doom, if y'all know what I'm talking about. That was like one of the things like I just did. I really did, did not want to do it, but I just did it because I was like getting over a fear for real. So I just, I hate, like, you know how, like for me, it's weird, bro. I be playing games in my head. So let's say like, you feel me? If I'm scared of something or do something or like the Dr. Doom thing, I was scared to do it. I hate the fact that I'm feeling scared to do it. So it makes me even want to do it. 
or I'm gonna be thinking about that mug for so long. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a weird thing I be doing in my head. I don't even know. <clears throat> do you ever feel lonely? Do you ever get lonely or feel like you're alone? If so, do you what do you do in those moments? Um honestly, nah, bro. I feel like like before I feel like before I really I never even felt like lonely for real too. Well, I don't know. I don't be thinking about it. I honestly just be thinking about so much other stuff, so I never even thought about it. But I want to say maybe back then, like, it kind of, I could look at myself and I could tell that I was, like, lonely. Not only say lonely, but um, I'll be battling stuff so much that I'll just go, you feel me, go kick it with a girl or, <clears throat> you feel me, do something with a girl, talk to a girl, text a girl. I'll be diving straight in the lust, like, um, so I guess I would say, I don't know if that was loneliness or not, but I wasn't even thinking like that. Like, dang, I'm lonely. Like, me, you feel me? I wouldn't even think like that. It was just more so me just just being ignorant. You feel me? But I always say it's something deeper than what it is, too. So it might be, it might not be. But, um, yeah, I really don't. I be enjoying it, bro. Like, me sitting out here, kicking it right here, like, I got to a place where I, I enjoy my own company. Like, I enjoy... You know what I'm saying? Just listening to birds, but like bugs. Like I don't just be saying that to look cool or saying that to say everything okay, you feel me? But I just say that to say, bro, because it's like we live in a crazy, crazy world. So I feel like me filtering like myself and not just kicking it with anybody and then like I ain't gonna care, bro, I keep it a bean. Like I, I got a little anti-social in me, you feel me? But that was just from growing up wise too. So that's one of the things that got low key broke a little bit, but um, sometimes I just don't like to kick it with everybody. So not even sometimes, like, like it just depends. I don't even know. Like it just been always kind of been beef for real. <clears throat> Cause I don't, I'm really not a talker. Like it might seem like I talk a lot on your videos, bro, but I'm really not a talker, bro. I promise you. Like you can ask my blood brother. He used to be the talker and uh, like a whole bunch of stuff. Like I'll let him talk to the family members first i'll be in the back until i get you feel me like introduce or something like i was always that quiet person you feel me so um yeah i feel like that's like i guess plays into the part of me enjoying myself i guess you feel me but um if i'm doing something like for these moments i'll probably say if, like if you feel lonely shoot ain't nothing wrong with getting a you know a brother and uh, a brother or a sister in christ for real and kicking with them and doing stuff or you know what I mean, things like that, but you don't want to make it to a point where you're running away from who you are, you feel me, because you need to know who you are before you just keep, oh, I got to kick it with somebody, I got to do this, I got to do that, and you just doing it just because you're running away from yourself, you still want to be cool with yourself, and you know what I'm saying, love yourself, and I ain't just talking about the self-care, the only way you can live, like, win in life, somebody said it before, the only way you can win in life is you win with them, once you win with them, that's when this start, you feel me, this start changing and you can start doing what it do. Have you ever considered relocate, relocating to any other southern states? Um, Probably so, probably so. It depends. I like that. You feel me? I don't mind moving. Share some memories you have from your childhood. Um, This off the top of the brain. This is what I uh just started to think about. But um, I used to be like a, not used to be. But growing up, bro, I kid you not, me looking back, I was a real dude. I want to say risk taker. Like, like when I say I was a country boy, y'all, I really was, like, for real, for real. Like, I'll be outside. I'll be coming back home from school, and I'll be going outside to skateboard, be on the bike. And, like, we'll be having these big hills and things like that. And my parents would tell me, like, they wouldn't tell me no, but they would just, like, be careful, yo. Like, and then there was one, we had, like, a thing in our backyard, like, um... It's like a little ramp you can like that I built that you could just go off. Not built, but my dad built and that you can just go off. You know what I'm saying? It kind of look like a cliff. So um, my dad told me not to do it and I still went and did it. You feel me? And I literally like, he was cutting grass outside. So I literally was zooming on my bike. You know what I'm saying? My hit, the hill was like this big. You feel me? So I'm zooming on my bike and I just <laughs> like jump off like how they did on TV type vibes. I used to always watch stuff like that. And I literally, like, I'm going this way and my bike going that way. You feel me? And I landed on a rock, knocked the air out of me. But I say that to say, and he uh, he got mad at me for sure. But I say that to say is that uh, 
I want to get back to, you feel me, being on that type of time and not jumping off a cliff or nothing like that. But you know what I'm saying? Just that that risk mentality, and I, which I feel like I always had, but I feel like things that I've been through, it put me back into like a whole of, I'm saying, like you pick up from the world like a, a hole where, I'm saying you're just thinking about unnecessary or worrying about unnecessary stuff. You feel me? And now I feel like um, I'm getting out of that and getting back to myself now. So, yeah. <clears throat> Do you prefer using a daily devotional or choosing certain verses to study in the Bible? I was just thinking on that today. Um, Bible plans, I feel like, um, can get you so, you know what I'm saying? Like, can get you a, like far still. I feel like, I was about to say so far, I don't know why, but can you still get you far, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't nothing like even going into, you know what I'm saying, your prayer closet and bruh, like just pausing and meditating, like asking God, like, yo, if there's anything I need to learn or anything, God, like help me to have wisdom, you feel me? Like ask for wisdom. And that's what I normally do sometimes and I got to get back to doing, but I feel like I could be getting more revelation and things like that. Um, Cause the Bible is a blueprint, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, I believe like God leads you and shows you things that you need to personally work on. Like this person might be dealing with lust and he might need to be, you know what I'm saying, doing a plan or however you want to say uh, about lust. And this person might not be dealing with lust as much. So he looking at that like, uh, okay, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like God has things for, for specific people. So I feel like um, actually like, you know, asking him and spending time with him and let him show you you feel me like what you need to be reading you know what i'm saying it's one thing too so ain't nothing wrong with the bible verse or the things like that but that's what probably i would say are you happy yeah yeah i would say yeah for sure but i ain't chasing happiness that mug get you you know what i'm saying do you want to get married someday yeah for sure for the right one tips to put on weight and muscle depending what you're trying to do it's easy to do it you know what i'm saying like you eating processed foods and stuff but you already know that ain't the route but plant-based is easy too i'm saying you just gotta real deal give your body that the right nutrients and things like that a lot of times we our bodies don't know how to know to our bodies don't know how to digest i'm saying the right foods anymore because we're so used to doing the wrong way you know what I'm saying? So you got to get your body back on that tight time. Do you think you found your purpose in life? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Ain't no question <laughs> with that, bro. And I saw, like, I real do. When people get twisted too, you don't got to just be like, what is my purpose in life? What is my purpose in life? What is my purpose in life, bro? Your purpose going to be found when you start going within and actually listening to what God trying to, you know what I'm saying, give you, but we don't never listen to what God trying to give us because we try to make our purpose what we want our purpose to be. You know what I'm saying? So it get a little twisted and then you go into the closet, you thinking God telling you this, but it's really you telling yourself that because you really want that. You see what I'm saying? So uh, we just got to get back to being in tune. Like that's really all it is, bro. We so programmed. So we can't really think for ourselves because we're eating the programming food. We listen to the programming news, listen to the programming scrolling on TikTok, Instagram. Everything is a straight distraction. So when are we going to get back to the, I'm saying the real deal? We can't because it's an ongoing thing. So we trying to find purpose. Meanwhile, we we ain't even, you know what I'm saying, fix what, you know what I'm saying, what's inside our inner. You feel me? Once you do that. Bro, God, I'm telling you, God will show you exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You won't even question. I put that on. Listen to me. If y'all take anything from me, bro, you will find your purpose when you start fixing what's inside of you. You feel me? Because you're going to realize that, yeah, <laughs> you feel me? That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. What's your biggest challenge in life right now? Um, Honestly, I feel like, you feel me? Sometimes I be holding my like holding myself back a little bit just because um like I'm so in tune of being like how, how am I supposed to say like I'm just so used to being by myself a little bit too so a lot of opportunities like I might not get on this podcast or this person DM me like bro I don't even wanna tell I would tell you just cause it's the raw but 
like I feel like I just gotta get out of my comfort zone, but I'm just so used to not kicking it with everybody or being everywhere. Like I'm just I just gotta get used to it, bro, because I don't be you like I'm saying I feel like I should be way farther than I am right now. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it be on me. You feel me? Like I be messing up myself a lot, you know what I'm saying? And it's a constant battle. And that's coming from me too, you feel me? So um I feel like I'm nobody's holding me back or stopping me but me, bro. Like I, that's why I say that all the time. Like that why I say like <laughs> like that why I said in my caption, like I I literally like I'm battling like I was battling myself. I always talk about that because that's all it is. It is not anybody else. Life is all about perspective, perspective, bro. A change of mindset. How can you tell if it's God's voice or your own? You ain't gonna question it. <laughs> he is not gonna question it. The times that I've heard God's voice, it scared me. <laughs> it, it scared me, but it was to a point I didn't even question if that was my voice. The times I heard my voice, I questioned it every time. Cause God's voice, you don't even, it's not, it's not like you hear it in here. You hear it like in here. You, it's so weird you hear it in here and it's just something like it just like it moves you like you instantly like i don't even know how to explain but like you just instantly like just wake up like bro like wait what you know what i'm saying so um you just got to give the ears to hear you feel me you just can't hear because you got to start turning down a lot of things like i say you got to start turning down the news start turning down this programming you know what I'm saying start getting the, the right foods in your body. I promise you you're gonna start hearing God and you're not even gonna question. <laughs> but a lot of times we can't hear because bro, I'm telling you, once you clean your your like your gut, what do they say? Your gut is your brain. You gotta clear your gut. You dig what I'm saying? Like it's hard to hear from God. So that's why it's hard to hear from God because we are so used to the things of this world of what they got going on, our programming with it, and then on top of that, we put in the chemicals on top of on top of that, I'm saying so we put all these leaves, all these headphones on top of our ears, and we can't hear Nathaniel. So we in the closet trying so hard, and then we can't hear him. So we just say, "Oh yeah, God told me this." But you ain't even hear God say, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even hear God tell you to do that. You just saying that because you was in the closet for so long. You're like, bro, I'm trying to hear you, like God, come on, like, and then you start hearing your voice too. So, um. Yeah, what do you use for bathing and moisturizing your body by being alkaline? Um, I be using black African black soap. Black African black soap. African black soap. <laughs> I use that. And I use, I think it's called Dr. Woods. But I use black African soap for my face and then Dr. Woods for my, uh, I'm saying for my body and stuff. Do you have a church home? Um, bro, I ain't gonna cap y'all. I haven't been to church in a very, very long time. And people, I think nowadays, we'd be like, oh my gosh, like, you feel me? But that's just the programming of the world, bro. Like, not saying you don't need community. I'm not saying that at all. You feel me? I'm not saying that at all. But I will say that it's bigger than just what goes on inside the church. Like, it's so much bigger than what goes on inside the church. Now you still, I feel like church is not bad. Church home is good. I'm not, I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, I just personally, I haven't been in a long time and it's nothing bad or I don't have no church hurt or anything like that. I promise you, like my heart, I promise y'all my heart, I don't have no church. Cause y'all, y'all know how I go sometimes. Something will go into church and people don't go back. There's none of that. I just literally, when I, when I was living somewhere like I was living in New Smyrna, so I was just farther from my church. And then when I got up here, I just haven't been back kind of since. And there's nothing like crazy or nothing like that. But um, I've been listening to a lot of sermons. I've been listening to this dude named Philip Mitchell. And I'm not that person to compare pastors. Oh, my pastor, this pastor, this or this pastor. I'm not here to for pastors. Like, plan, I'm not here for pastors. They are vessels and like God. You know what I'm saying? They are vessels in the kingdom. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing to have on the past. But you still got to go to the source too. You feel me? Like, yo, one source can't be just the pastor. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that too. And I'm all about community too. You feel me? But um, I say but like I'm about to say something bad afterwards. Uh, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely do need to get back into 
I'm saying going going to church and things like that. But that's all I'm trying to say too is that um like the the way the world portrays God and things like that, y'all just gotta go deeper. That's all I'm trying to say. Y'all gotta go deeper. I'm saying once you go deeper, that's when you real life gonna realize. How do you get over my past? How do you get over my past and mistakes I've made? Um, number one, it's cliche, but you gotta forgive yourself. And the way you forgive yourself is that you real deal gotta go within. Like you gotta sit down with yourself. And like a lot of times when you sit down with yourself, that's when God starts talking to you and speaking to you. He starts showing you things of why you keep. I'm saying like, let's say, cause I used to be, you know, what I'm saying I used to get on myself about past mistakes or get on myself about. I'm saying me doing wrong because I want to do so much right, but that just come from childhood trauma. You know what I'm saying? You might have been dealing with trying to impress something bad. Not saying you, but you might be dealing with this or um, you might have been made fun of in middle school or this and that. You know what I'm saying? So it's always something to trigger, um, you know, something that you feel me of why you can't get over the past or things like that. So that's what I mean with trying to, you know, heal yourself and, um, and do that because that when you can start forgive and it's a process for sure but that's when you can start forgive and start being a little bit more easy on yourself bro not saying to do whatever you want or things like that but just start being more at peace bro like that one mistake you made or that one thing that you done dealt with bro like you got to stop looking in the rear view mirror like it's so much ahead in this life bro and to keep wasting the years or wasting hours on one mistake you just gotta either roll it, you know what I'm saying? Mistakes do come with consequences, but it ain't something to keep dwelling on. And I'm talking to myself too, it's something to keep dwelling on each and every hour of the day. You feel me? Like it's a whole new sunset the next day. I'm saying you just gotta leave all of you gotta leave all of that by behind. It's either said than done, but once you come to that, bro, you start appreciating life even more. You know what I'm saying? And you can start loving who you, you know what I'm saying, who you're supposed to be. Do you ever crave foods you used to eat? Honestly, nah. Like the most I've craved like right now is like cooked alkaline foods or cooked, you know what I'm saying, meals, like things like that. But it'll be all plant-based still. It wouldn't be no vegan burgers or, you know what I mean, things like that. But I'd probably say the most thing, no cap, that I miss the most is like fries. But that ain't, it's a carcinogen. They don't, don't got nothing, to, you know what I'm saying, nothing good for you. What Bible verse do you meditate the most to? Um, probably Psalms 34. That's my that's my Bible verse that my mom gave um, me specifically. Psalms 34:19. It says, "Many there are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all." And that's literally like my story. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying like everything I've been through, everything, just everything. Like God really did deliver me, like mercy out of it all, bro. And I'm grateful for it. Like, y'all gonna see me talk about God each and every time because the things that he done pulled me through, bro, not even just, <laughs> I could care less about, you feel me, like, apartment and stuff like that. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the things that he realized pulled me out of, bro. Like, mentally, all that. I feel like I only got to this point because of stuff I've been through. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna go through stuff. Like, you gonna go through stuff. And I wouldn't want it any other way. I put that on everything I love and I've been through hell bro and of course I want my parents back like I, I understand that too you know and I'm saying but I'm not just talking about that I'm talking about each and everything that I've went through even if it was bad or good I'm glad I went through it because it molded me even mentally wise bro like I'm glad my mind was sounds crazy but at a low point you feel me because now that I'm at a higher point I realize like okay word you feel me? It's kind of like you look back at life even more grateful. Like, okay, now I understand. You know what I'm saying? It's just the growth, the growth process that I'm falling in love with now. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't want it any other way. Do you advise dropping out of college? Now, I can't tell you what to do, but I will just say, like, like this day and age now, bro, I ain't going to count. That mug is a whole, like... I just call it what it is. Depend what you do. You know what I'm saying? Depend what you do, but it be a dis distraction in a sense. You feel me? Like, it just be the the matrix, bro. Like, 
it just be the matrix. Like that's all I'ma say. It be the matrix. You know what I'm saying? Like now going to college is. I don't know. For me personally, let's say me, if I didn't do basketball, I probably would not be in college. Plain and simple. I probably would not do college. Just because, like, people who go to college end up in the same position. And you get taught things that really don't, you don't even really use in life, depending on what you do. And I can even say stuff about even the nursing thing sometimes. You feel me? Like, they still, you feel me? Like, you pushing pills, like, you know what I'm saying? So I can even say that about that. No offense to anybody that's nurse or anything like that. But I'm just saying like, college is a is a program. Plain and simple, the whole thing is a program. You feel me? So me personally, I wouldn't do it. But, yeah. What career would you have going into if you weren't doing YouTube or playing pro ball? Um, Honestly, shoot, nah. I can't even, I can't even say, bro, because I feel like this is my, my God given, you feel me, like God given thing of what I would, you know what I'm saying, I should be doing. But um, if I had to say something, if I was supposed to do something else, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea because this is something, no cap, before even basketball, it's something I've been wanting to do is YouTube. Like it's always been something like a passion of mine. You feel me? It might be new to y'all, so when people see me stop playing basketball, and doing YouTube, they're like, oh my, like, what are you doing, Woo. But I've always, even doing basketball, I was always on YouTube watching other people vlog. Have you ever battled with the addiction to your phone or social media? Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. I feel like, um, recently I'm dang near like getting out of it, out of it. That's one thing, bro. I feel like you, you do that, you gonna realize how, like, how much you missing it in life. That's the key. I promise you, that's the key. Uh, most I do now, is like I'll be catching myself. I'll be scrolling. I don't even care if it's motivational stuff. If it's motivational stuff on Instagram. I'm still like if I if I just see myself do this, like eh, I'll just instantly feel like no, nah, I get off. You know what I'm saying? Just because like that mug can put you in a whole new mind, my mindset and universe. Like it's a whole day deal programming. Like YouTube, I vouch for YouTube because I'll be watching a lot of sermons and um, you know things like that and I ain't just saying that for y'all. Oh y'all can please y'all please still watch me I ain't just saying that you feel me because if you got to get off the Instagram and stuff like that man do it You feel me put me down put put my Instagram put my I'm saying put my Instagram put my you know what I'm saying put my thing down You feel me if y'all got to do it like that, but um Yeah, I definitely say it's, a, it's an addiction for sure like we're not meant to be soaking in all those things bro like each and everything. We're not meant to soak what's happening on the other side of the, the earth. We're not meant to soak what's happening over here or this this person died right here. This person is, this person that. Like, we're not meant to know everything. <laughs> and now we knowing everything. So that's why so many people are getting, like they driving, like they just losing their mind. <laughs> because we're not meant to soak in all these things. I'm saying, so that's why you gotta put a filter on a lot of things. And getting off Instagram and TikTok is uh, number one priority. And if I have somebody I want to, you feel me, if I'm trying to peep that page or things like that, I will go to that, you feel me, see what's going on, boom, and then, okay, I'm off. But most of the time, I'm off it. Like, I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it back and forth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just ain't it, bro. It just stops so much stuff, and it even brings in a part of our lust, too, because you're scrolling, and you see, you already know what it is. You see females, see the man you like, you know what I'm saying? It's so much nonsense. You just got to filter and know what's going on. Biggest ob obstacle you faced after your parents passed? Um, I just say whole my like my whole mindset. <laughs> my mindset is my biggest obstacle. I changed that once I change like once I faced that and faced myself is when I, you know, what I'm saying is when I really started to you know peep and understand life even more. So I definitely say my mindset, my mind state or mindset is my was my biggest obstacle because I was a thinker. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like I, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely that. How can I grow my YouTube channel? Um, bro, you just gotta rely, um, I don't wanna make this video too long. Dang, we going to 50 ball, no kizzy. Depending on what you do, bro. It just depends on what, like, what specifically you do. So let's say I might be different. You know what I'm saying? I might be different. Let's say you try to do my lifestyle vlogs. 
I'll just keep it a bean. It might not go well at first because nobody knows who you truly are. And I'm not stating that I'm the most, I know it, you know what I'm saying? I'm the biggest, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying sometimes when you do it like that, a lot of people might not recognize who you are unless you got like a foundation on Instagram or, you know, something where your face is, your face is actually in the algorithm. So you might have to do something else for right now and then... You know what I'm saying? Bounce and tell you what you're really trying to do, but you want to keep it in the same niche if that kind of makes sense. Let's say, let's say how I did. I loved fashion. I started off with fashion, but fashion is sometimes you can, fashion is a thing that you can put it into a lifestyle too. You feel me? So I started vlogging. And then in my vlogs, I'm still, you feel me, putting it on and showing the fashion and stuff. So that's what I mean, where it's kind of like you can do things like that to put it back into your niche. You know what I'm saying? So, how do you stay content during your single season? as a believer um and just man just enjoy yourself enjoy your company and love yourself that's and fi once you fix the inner like i say bro you don't really even think on i need to have because you're so in love with yourself and just who you got is like putting you you know what i'm saying putting you as that you're not even thinking of you're not saying anything else like that so which is not wrong to have a wife or you know what i'm saying a husband but you see what i'm saying like that's like not something where I'm like fiending or like I need a wife. Like I'm not I'm not fiending on. You know what I'm saying? I know when it's gonna it's gonna come when it's gonna come. You know what I'm saying? So and if it doesn't, feel me like it's just what it is. I know this is a question that y'all want to know each and every time I do these Q and A's. Y'all be wanting these updates. It's so lit that these kids is playing outside, just kicking it. But um, it says, are you single? Yes, I am single, and I'm chilling. Um, it's just crazy to say this too, bro. I don't like even me talking this long. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it like this for an hour or nothing like that. But it is a raw joint, so um, yeah, it's just crazy that I'm even speaking on stuff like that too. And then sometimes I be wanna like I'll just forget things to say in my question. You feel me, like? Cause I ain't used to this, bro. So I be wanting to say something. And then I don't be saying everything, and then it, I go back and edit, and I ain't even tell y'all, so it might look crazy or this and that, but it is what it is, bro. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to talking like this still, believe it or not, y'all. I promise you, I'm still getting used to talking like this. And I've been doing YouTube for about two years, something like that. Two or three years, something like that. But, um, yeah, if y'all want me to do another Q&A, y'all, I definitely will if y'all want me to. I ain't want to keep going just because we hitting an hour ball right now. But um, if I didn't get to your question, I apologize. If y'all want me to do another one, this boy going crazy out here. That's another reason. But yeah, if y'all want me to do another one, I definitely can, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And um, yeah, catch y'all in the next video. It's the raw vlog, so y'all gonna see what's going on. I ain't just gonna walk off on the camera like that. <laughs> All right, so...